Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how to use FFmpeg to remove the audio from a video file. For this process you don't need to re-encode the video so you don't lose any quality and the video processing is very very quick because you're just basically copying the file from one place to another without the audio. So as you can see I've got a video file here, it's just called O. As you can see it's got some audio to it. Well in my left hand I have a, a feather. So I'm just going to open up this here. This is the web page that we're going to download FFmpeg from if you don't already have it. So here's the uh, URL. I'll also put that in the description. And we just want to download it. So I'll download FFmpeg just here. Now it is a 7-zip file, so we'll have to open up with using 7-zip. So we've sort of here open up in 7-zip now. If you don't have 7-zip, I'll probably at some time in the future also make a video how to download 7-zip and install that. But for now, we're going to assume you've already installed so you can open 7-zip files. I'll probably use an icon to attach the link if I do make that video in the future. So it's going to go into bin and we should use ffmpeg.exe. You can either add it to path if you're an advanced user, but for the sake of this video, we're going to assume you don't have it added to path. And we're just going to drag it to the directory that we're going to be calling the command from. So just straight here. So as you see, we've got ffmpeg. I'll actually just go into view and I'll go file name extensions because that will help us quite a bit. Just know what the file names are. So as you can see, we've got older mp4, which is the video we looked at before. And what we need to do is just go up here and open in command prompt. As you, can see, we, as you can see, we've opened it in this folder tutorial. And first, I'm going to show you how to do it with a single video. And then, I'm going to show you how to make a batch file, which can convert to a large amount of videos all at the same time. So, to call FFmpeg, we just have to go FFmpeg. Now, we go minus I. This indicates our input. We type our input name, which is O.mp4, O.mp4. And we want to go map, because we want to map a specific track. So, zero because it's the first, or only in this case, input file we've added, colon, V for video, and then we could either just leave it here with V, and that copy all video tracks, which realistically, you would only have one video track in a file such as this, unless you've used a specific piece of software or it from somewhere that does have it, but assuming you've recorded yourself, it should just have one video file. If you did have multiple, to go for the first video track, you'd put a zero there, then the second video track one etc but we can just leave it at colon v for now and because we want to copy the tracks we don't want to re-encode it let's go minus c copy and then we want to put our output so let's call it out dot mp4 nice and simple just because that's our output and just like that in pretty much no time at all we're going to have this file here clicking on this you can see that there's no audio now so it's just the video playing. If we wanted to use the same name as the file, we could also do that. For that, since there's already a video file with that name here, we either need to change the file extension, such as change it to MKV, that's a different file container, or we have to do it to a different folder. I'll show you how to do that. So just create a new folder like this. This is from O for output, or O for I guess that's how video is called. I'm going to go here and we're just going to click the up hammer to bring out the last used command and to write to different directories type the directory name we're going to use relative name so we've got o inside this folder so we're going to go o for the folder name then a slash to indicate that it's a folder and like that we've just written file called out into this folder just like that you can get rid of that one as well so it's nice and simple. If you want to change it, you can change, for example, write to an MKV file or whatever you wanted. It's nice and quick, nice and simple. So now I'm going to show you how to do a large amount of these at the same time. It's useful if you had a collection of, for example, clips you've recorded on your phone, you don't want to share the audio for whatever reason, and you just wanted to bulk convert to remove the audio tracks. So to simulate all the files, we're just going to Make a few copies of this one. There we go, we've got four 
this works no matter how many. So I'm gonna show you just go new, we're gonna new text document to have the file extensions listed for this. So we're just gonna call it doesn't matter what we call it as A, but then after the dot we need to have dot that to indicate batch file. Click yes. And we're just going to go edit. So here's a simple command, it's all percent percent A, which is our symbol which represents our file name in and then we're going to list our file types or file names since we're all going to be different mp4 files we can go asterisk for the file name dot mp4 just like that if we have multiple such as we had mkvs as well as well as maybe some avis or something else we can simply add that by going comma asterisk then dot avi and then mkv and we can just list them like this then we go do, open bracket, we're going to put a close bracket here, then we input our command just anywhere between these two brackets, so we're going to call ffmpeg minus i, now we're using percent percent %a, so we're going to use percent percent %a for our file name, it's good practice just to put it in quotation marks just in case there is any spaces, it's just good practice. So we want to do the same thing as we did before, minus map, zero, colon, v, minus c, copy, then we put a file name, we're going to write the same file names to the folder just called o, so we want to go o slash sense a, just like that. Now that's good if we want to write them with the exact name they've got. But if, for example, we want them to be all MP4s or MKVs, we can set the file name by just going tilde n, and that removes the file extension name. Then we can just add our own file extension. For example, I'm going to do MKV, but you can use whatever you want. As long as the file container accepts the codecs and the video streams. If you're not sure about that, it's probably a good idea just to keep it in the same file extension. And also make sure whenever you're encoding it that whatever file container, whether it's MKV, AVI, MP4, as well as being able to contain the stream that you're putting into it, is also compatible with whatever you want to play it back on. For example, a lot of devices can't support MKVs, but they, they do support AVIs and MP4s, for example. Although most files, if you're using it VLC, whether you're using MKV, AVI, MP4, it should be fine with that. So this is our command. I'm just going to save that. I'm just going to click to run. As you can see, we've got all the files in here, and none of them have audio. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video, comment down and below any thoughts you had or ideas for future videos, and subscribe so you don't miss any videos like this.